Mamacitas 301 South Main in Jowl is a proud supporter of the Jowl community. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jowl Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. The Woolworth Community Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here with us. We're in Jow, New Mexico, about to start the national anthem. You'll have the loving Falcons and the Jow Panthers coming up very quickly. So we'll pause for the anthem while we play you an ad. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. Mamacitas and Jal has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jal, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jal, is a proud supporter of the Jal community. The staff of the Jow Public School District is proud of their Jow Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jow schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. Jow Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jow Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star Energy Efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. 
Well, welcome back to John New Mexico. I'm Dusty Windham. Alongside me, of course, Natalie Navarrete, Valeria Acosta, the uh, Emmy Award winning cinematographer here. So, uh, yeah, we are back here for baseball. We've been over at the softball fields for a couple of weeks, it seems like, without getting back over here to the uh, blue turf on the other side of town. So we are ready to go. The Panthers in the field in their home whites, blue pinstripes, and loving in whites with uh, red pinstripes. Uh, pretty similar uniforms, really. Uh, but the Falcons ready to go, and... Uh, it's going to be tough. The Panthers have struggled most of this season, ladies and gentlemen, but they're looking to get things righted. And uh, heading into district play, they're going to need to. We'll have one game here today against these Falcons. It'll be Christian Diaz on the mound for the Panthers. Ladies, how are you guys? Um, I'm doing good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm doing good as well. See, everybody's doing all right, including me. <laughs> Umpire was waiting on me, and he's ready to roll now. So, here we are. Ready for some more Panther baseball here in Jown, New Mexico. Home of the Panthers. Of course, what do, we, what do they call this place? Is it Panther Field? Panther Stadium? Maybe? I think it's the Bo wait, what, Babe Ruth Babe Field. Ruth Field. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, nothing like the great Bambino. We will get started here. And your first batter up for Loving is going to be Bunch. Bunch is playing out in left field wearing number nine, and it'll be Diaz to throw to him here. A strike called on the first pitch across, and it's 0-1 early. I forgot to ask if one of you would pull up the app and do the score for right now until I can get done with the uh, lineup here. We got a late start due to technical difficulties, we'll say, here today. Now the 0-1 has popped up on the infield. Pitchers calling everybody off, third baseman as well coming in, but it will be Diaz to make the play. At least that's what did I see. Yep, number 15, so there you go. So there's one out here early on as the Falcons will now send to the plate. Uh, looks like, I, I wanna say Toreen is what it looks like on the lineup. Hard to read a little bit here, but the first pitch up high for a ball, and it's gonna be a one ball, no strike count here. So we got our power lifter and our uh, power broadcaster over here, and then I'm, <laughs> I'm just filling up the space as we get rolling. That one's gonna tail outside on the breaking ball and be a ball for a 2-0 count. Now, Valeria went and competed in the state power lifting competition this weekend, and Failed five pounds out of placing, yeah. man. That's that's gotta be rough. But you got time, you'll do it again. Yeah, I know. And and you'll probably win it all next year, right? You already know. Third straight ball has been thrown here by Diaz, and it is a 3-0 count. It feels really hot out here. It is really hot out here. <laughs> it is pretty warm. We're right in the sun as well. So a four-pitch walk issued here to uh and now it'll be Leha coming to the plate. He'll be the pitcher on the other side of the field here in a little bit. And we'll see what he has. Runner on first, only one out. And we'll see what Diaz does here. And that first pitch is a strike. Good delayed reaction by the umpire. You see, it is mechanical, almost like a robot there. <laughs> Imagine he is a robot. <laughs> that he might be. I've known him a long time, and he still could be. Oh. So we'll see. So the runner goes, and this ball is tattooed in the left field. It is traveling far. It looks like it's going to get foul, and it'll get down harmlessly. Runner will head back to first, and now we'll have an 0 and 2 count on the board. No balls, two strikes here, according to the scoreboard anyways. I'm sure you ladies know if that's right or not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Yeah, see, that that's how it always works here. They keep us. Uh, she, these two ladies keep me, uh, halfway straight on this stuff. Yeah, we just know too much, you know. Y'all know plenty. Of course, they do a wonderful job as Natalie handled duties this weekend by herself. You know, by you standing on, you know, business. Love that though. <laughs> yeah. So, new batter is going to be uh, the fourth batter of the inning, and the cleanup hitter, number 11, Leva. 
Leva is the catcher for the Falcons here. And we'll get into it again as we roll. So Diaz back up on the bump and stepping into the box now is definitely Mr. Leva. Got a runner on second and two outs here in the inning. And oh. that comes in and hits the catcher right in the ribs. Ooh, tough one there. You know, I think I could be a pitcher. You, yeah, you would hit you everybody. You throw at everybody? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah. You know, usually your team will lose if you do that. No, even but. my own players, you know, keep them in check. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they mess up, I threw the ball at them. It happens. It happens, I'll tell you that. I saw, <laughs> I saw the T-Birds uh, at New Mexico Junior College Saturday while I was handling that game you were here. Uh, they won a game because the pitcher came in and hit three batters in a row. Oh, wow. Good yeah. sportsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been. Yeah, hopefully I become him whenever I start playing baseball. So the courtesy <laughs> runner over on first now for the Falcons is stepping into the box will be uh, Porus. Number three, he'll be playing the shortstop position for the Falcons here. And with runners at first and second, two outs, he'll take a strike from Diaz on the first pitch. You know, I played baseball for like two days. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it was an iconic <laughs> era. You know, well, I tell you what, you know, you should have stuck with it. Got that athletic build, you know. You, you'd been out there hitting bombs by now. Second pitch misses inside, and it'll be a 1-1 count. Baseball's a great game. It's the American pastime. You hear that? I don't know. It looks like football is taking over really quick. You know, a lot of people will tell you that. That's for sure. Runners will go, and they throw Ooh. to third late, not even reaching up for it. was number 13, Gabriel War Wattis. And uh, now the throw comes in, and they get him at, the, at third as the runner from first tried to stretch it to third. The run did score, though, I believe. Yep, should be one nothing here in favor of the Falcons, even though the third out came, the run crossed the plate before the out was called. And that'll do it for the top half of the first inning. So we'll be back in about a minute with more Panther baseball. I believe it's one nothing. I'll confirm with the, the umpire. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. All right, we are back again here. Y'all getting all that music in through the... Yeah, for... Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you're there. I promise. Yeah, you're there. Can you hear me? Yeah. Am I on you? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Okay. Everything's lit up, right? Yeah. So I, I really hope you are. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. So I, I could turn you up a little bit if I need to in the headphones. But either way, the run did score there. For the Falcons, uh, after the uh, or before the third out was made at third base on the uh, errant throw on a steal attempt by the Falcons, uh, Taylor overthrows third base. Left fielder Juarez comes in and makes the play. Adam Waters out there, and is he the one that helped you this weekend? Yes, Adam Wa Waters. Yeah. yeah Waters Juarez. <laughs> I just don't want to sound like us from you know. Houston. The country side. Yeah, you know. No, sometimes I'd be sounding like I'm country. It happens. Like I'm I've been saying, it. I've been saying oil or oil instead of oil. Oil. Yeah. Oil. Yeah. Maybe. At least you're not saying Earl. So there you go. We are back here in Jow. I'm Dusty Wyndham, Natalie Navarrete. Or Navarrete, excuse me. And <laughs> my good friend Valeria Acosta, the power lifter, who I will not make mad or she'll break my legs. No. <laughs> so, you know, we're uh, here for this inning. We are into the bottom half of the first. And, of course, we've got all kinds of things happening out here. You know, these uh, 
these Falcons and Panthers will uh, do battle later in district play as well. Today, a non-district matchup from what I understand and just the one game. JV will play after this. And, uh, well, we won't be here for that, but you got plenty of time to come on out to the ballpark and get here if you'd like. So we are ready to go. And for the Panthers to lead things off, it's going to be the left fielder and occasional broadcast helper, Mr. Adam Wattis. He'll be followed by Luke Gwynn, Christian Diaz, Cash Taylor. Then in hitting fifth, it'll be Gabriel Wattis, then Sebastian Arroyo. It looks like Fernando Saceda, Christopher Baxter, and then Javier uh, Santillan. So, look at me. I'm getting there. Here comes the first pitch, and the pitcher again is Leva, or Leha. Excuse me. Leva's the catcher. Leha's the pitcher. Leha and Leva. First pitch is across for a strike called by the home plate umpire. And here comes the 0-1. Leha's into the windup. This is hit Ooh. into center. It'll drop for a base hit. And it's waited. You want to start things off. Adam Waters with a single to start things off to bring up Luke Gwynn. Gwynn wearing number five playing out in center field today. So this, uh, oh, this one could be a battle. What a good song. <laughs> good, good walkout song. <laughs> and, of course, we're right under a speaker is my guess because uh, I'm sure you folks at home can hear that too. So Leha will get ready. He'll look over at the runner first. The first baseman is holding him. The back foot comes off the rubber. So back to the back goes Wattis. And this pitch outside on the breaking ball gets away from the catcher. And he calls a strike on it. Wow. 0-1 oh the count. I thought it was outside by, well, a foot or so. Kind of looked like it. Yeah, but, you know, human element of the game. If you just had robots calling everything, it wouldn't be as much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be way funner with the machine pitches. I don't know, man. You ever hit off one of those things? Yes. It's pretty rough. Oh, Waters goes on the pitch. And the catcher with a good throw will nail Waters at second by about a step. So... Is That's a cleanup hitter supposed to be like the like power hitter, the one that hits the ball the furthest? Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was like the best who can hit the ball the well, most. Yeah, you, it's pretty close there. You, your leadoff guy, your first guy, usually hits the ball real well, and then your three-hole hitter, whoever's third, is usually high average as well. So oh, okay. That ball misses. We've got a two-one count here. As Leha gets ready to go again, again Waters just thrown out, stealing second. Now it's 3-1 as that pitch misses as well. But so with nobody on after the leadoff single and the uh, caught stealing, it's up to Gwen here to uh, put another Panther on the base path. He'll swing and miss there and make it a full count at 3-2. and two. Other than that, did you guys have a great weekend? You... Yeah, I had a good weekend. Good. I went to go get my dog groomed. That's what I need to do this next week with both of mine. But swing and a miss on that pitch. And Luke Gwynn goes down on strikes. That'll bring up the pitcher, Christian Diaz. Diaz will come up, uh, hitting third here, wearing number 15. What about you, Valeria? I mean, I know you had to travel a lot. That's a long way to go, isn't it? Yeah, I spent most of my weekend there. It was, you know. It, it, it was competition is what it was. It yeah. was intense. First pitch from Leha, breaking ball, and way out in front of it is Diaz that time for an 0-1 count. No balls, one strike. I uh, spent most of Friday and Saturday, well, almost all of Friday and Saturday at the junior college calling baseball games. They won all four games, though, had a good weekend. Swing and a miss on the 0-1, and now it's 0-2. Down to the last strike in the inning are the Panthers, the T-Birds, uh, now in first place in their conference as Howard beat Midland College on the weekend. So Howard will be coming to New Mexico this Saturday. We'll have a game for you Saturday as well. Actually, y'all will have a game for them Saturday as well. And I'll be back in Hobbs doing New Mexico Junior College ball. Is it going to be double varsity? It is. I do believe so. That's what I thought I saw. We'll check the schedule here in a little bit. I think that ball hit a car. <laughs> it wasn't mine. I hope it wasn't mine. I, I parked I park, all the 
I oh. parked by the bus, so the bus ought to block mine. Either way, a ground ball hit by Diaz to short up with it, and across with the throw is Porras, and that'll do it for the Panthers here in the inning. Still a 1-0 lead here for the Loving Falcons, and they'll be coming to bat in the top half of the second in just a few moments. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Mamacitas in Jow has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jow, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jow, is a proud supporter of the Jow community. Back again here in Jow, New Mexico, home of the Panthers, the blue and gold. Taking on the red and white of the Loving Falcons here. And uh, as we discuss the merits of our vehicles and uh, insurance <laughs> and during the break, hoping that uh, we don't have to get a new windshield. I was, was going to tell a story, though. Uh, the day we bought our car, we drove it back from uh, Odessa. We bought it in Odessa. And on the way home, a uh, semi threw a rock and chipped our windshield. On the way home, Ooh. the day we bought it. I would have. Never mind. There's no way to prove it, I guess. Oh, it is $900 worth of uh, windshield, if See, you can believe that. I want to get a dash cam, so if that ever happens, you know, there's proof. Well, you know, that, that's an incidental thing and not the truck's fault. I mean, the tire picked it up and threw oh, that's it. that's true. But, you know, it's, uh, it's still one of those things that, that hurts. We are at a one nothing score here. It hurt my pocketbook anyways, I'll say that. <laughs> hey, we are at a one nothing score here, coming to the plate for the Falcons. I didn't catch his number. That is number three. He was at the plate uh, when the third out was made on the caught stealing. And this is Porras, the shortstop. He'll be followed by Collins and Onsores. No outside with that one for a ball, maybe a bit high as well on the pitch from Diaz. And it's a one ball, no strike count here to Porras. You're watching this game on HobbsAmerica.com, wherever you are, if you're here in Jow or in Loving or just, just anywhere watching. We appreciate you tuning in here today. The best in the business here with me, of course, with Valeria and Natalie. I'm, I'm, I'm so surprised I hadn't called you Natalia yet and her Valerie. So that, you know. <laughs> No, uh, it's okay. I always call her Valerie, too. No, you don't, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> so that pitch comes across 3-0 and the count as Diaz has yet to find the zone on this batter and way up high again and a four pitch walk issued to Porras. Porras will give way to Collins as he'll step up playing third base in this game batting in the six hole and wearing number one. So it is hot no doubt the sun uh, mm -hmm. high in the sky here today. I'm like and covering Natalie a little bit. No. <laughs> I think this so. This sounds like way up here. I, I hate <laughs> to burst your bubble. You're so thin. You're probably not covering anybody. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one, it's going to be 0-0 uh, zero, zero count here as the pickoff move to first was unsuccessful. The runner had a big lead off. The fir this pitch fouled back towards the screen and down towards the umpire now. And it's 0-1. Good start for this A-B. So who flinched? I didn't even see it, if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> It's because it did go right up in the sun from where <laughs> you're sitting, but uh, nobody flinched here. Up high with that one again is Diaz, and it's going to be a 1-1. So the wind's blowing in from center field, almost straight back towards home plate, judging by the flags, a little bit towards the left, I guess. And uh, we'll see if any balls in the air are held up by it. The 1-1 one -one on its way, and losing it again is going to be your pitcher Mr. Diaz is it's up high usually when a pitcher is up high with the ball he's releasing it early or it's slipping out of his hand and he's been high a lot so far in these first two innings 
Safe at first on the throw over to keep the runner honest. And now we'll get ready for a 2 1. I think we got some road games coming up too, guys. We'll be uh, traveling to uh, call games at opposing schools. Way up over the head, and then the runner will take second base on the steal as Taylor, number one, had to go behind the batter to catch that one over his head and try to get a throw. It was kind of like a turnaround throw, like a turnaround jump shot almost. Uh, not in time to catch the runner. So big lead at second now for Porras as it is... Uh, again, Collins at the plate. He'll ground it to short, no throw, as he'll hold the runner at second. Will the shortstop Arroyo? Is it Arroyo or Arroyos? Arroyo. Okay. Just want to make sure. We have Arroyos on the JC team. See. Um. But his does end in an S. So. Oh. Yeah, I think this one ends with the O, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for clarifying. Runners at first in, second now with nobody out for the Falcons and a swing and a miss on the first pitch here to number five on Suarez. So an 0-1 count with runners at first and second. The Panthers need an out here, possibly even a double play, a ground ball hit up the middle. And the infield playing in just a bit here. This one is chopped straight into the uh, dugout of the Falcons. Barehanded catch. I know. I was like, what the heck? Oh, actually, I thought he had a glove on. No, no. he got that with his hand. Ouch. <laughs> that was my last real injury, I guess, was that. I uh, barehanded the ball up the middle playing second base because my, my glove hand wouldn't reach it and broke my hand, of course. Ooh. Yeah, I guess that never nice. happened again, right? Yeah, I played six more games after that, that same day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't go to the doctor for like four or five days. I waited till my hand was so swollen I couldn't put it in my pocket. And I was like, yeah, maybe something's wrong. Strike yeah, out maybe. there on that one from Diaz. So that's his first K on the day. That sent uh, Onsuras back to the dugout. And now the first baseman, Austin, comes to the dish. Got a little size on him. Tall kid. Throw over to second just to uh, keep the runners close. Don't want them getting too big a lead and going here. But we've got one away now here in the top half of the second inning. And Diaz will hear or deal here again to Austin. He'll go to third. Uh, ball bounces and gets behind Taylor. They will keep the runners at second and third as covering was Diaz at the plate. But now two in scoring position with one out here for the Loving Falcons as they're taking on your Panthers. Panthers already tra trail one nothing. I almost said twelve. <laughs> so, lots going on. School okay for you guys today? Not too harsh? Yeah, no. Well, actually, I've been stressing, but it's okay. Yeah, honestly, school has been something. That ball was <laughs> swung on line drive over to second base. Coming up with it cleanly was Santian, and that right there is the second out. The runners will stay put at second and third. No stress with school, man. Stress comes with real life. Come on. Yeah, try try doing our schoolwork. No, nah, yeah. I'm old now. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember any of the stuff from school, so, you know. You'll be stressing out. Yeah. yeah. Well, try to have house payments, car payments, all that good stuff. You'd be stressing out, too. No. Oh, trust me, it's about to happen in a year. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, well, I understand. More stress. That. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? It's always, I don't look at it as stress. It's a challenge, and I will overcome it. That's the way I see it. <laughs> can you over? Can you ever overcome pain bills? <sighs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I haven't found the way yet. Throw over to third by Diaz, safe at third is Poras on the uh, pickup attempt. We've got a 2-0 count here as it is, is it number 10 up at the plate? And that would be Rodriguez, the right fielder. Strike on that pitch thrown by Diaz, called by the home plate umpire, and now a two and one count. Two outs and two in scoring position. The Panthers would like to get the out here and make sure that they keep it that way. In a one nothing game, unfortunately, this ball is hitting to the gap in right center field. It's going to get all the way 
out, score two runs on the single, a two out, two run single for Rodriguez, and that'll bring up the top of the order again in the leadoff man bunch. So three to nothing now your score here as the Falcons have tacked on a couple in the second. Oh, that's a new player. He wasn't in the game early. So this will be number 14 and his name is Granger. So Granger will step in here. So 14 for nine, but nine can re-enter. So that means Bunch will come back out and play defensively, but hitting in his spot here will be Granger. So Granger will step in with two outs and one man on over at first base for the Falcons. Three nothing lead for Loving over Jow, and that's a good pitch from Diaz across for a strike here. I feel like being a pitcher is like so much work. It, just just it because be. you have to like be so precise and with, catcher oh yeah that's yeah it. catchers a really tough position to play a throw over the first not quite in time to get the runner who will get the timeout from the umpire and be able to stand back up yeah catcher catcher sees everything out there because he's got the same point of view we do and uh really directs traffic the ball gets hit out he can tell him where to throw it you know and things like that this ball high in the air out towards the left and that ball's fair as it was touched in fair territory. Got off the glove of Waters out and left. And that'll score another run. 4 nothing now in favor of the Loving Falcons as that's a two-out RBI double for Granger who came in to hit for a uh, bunch. This should bring up Tarin, number eight. But I see a seven. Do you, do you just see seven? Oh, it is number seven. He's playing eight center field. I knew that. There's the pitch, and looked like it was a called strike here. Nope, they called a ball. I didn't see the signal come out to the side. I should have waited. So a 1-0 count. And Diaz looking to deal. He'll come to the plate here. And he's gone 2-0 and now with that ball thrown to Tarin. Hear the wind in the microphones today, can't you? Yes, yeah. Well, it is a bit breezy here at the ballpark. That one comes way inside for a 3 0 count, and in danger of walking another man on is Diaz. Should that happen, it would be Leja, the pitcher, to bat next. And that is the fourth ball right there. Four pitch walk. That's his third four pitch walk of the game. And struggling with control just a bit is Diaz here. Now they're going to call timeout. Taylor will walk out and speak with this pitcher as they'll try to get on the same page. Is so, it just me or like, I don't know if it's just like myself, but like whenever I come to baseball games, I get so hungry. Nah. Or am know, I just ballpark like. Ballpark food's the best stuff in the <laughs> world. I get thirsty. There is a, uh, there is a team in the majors uh, doing this challenge to where if you can eat nine hot dogs and drink nine adult beverages uh, in uh, nine innings. I guess it's free if they do that. You think you could throw down nine hot dogs and nine drinks? I think yeah, I can. The hot dogs, the bread will, you know, it help me. <laughs> that, well, pff, man, that's a lot of food. <laughs> so here we go. This one bounces way outside. Taylor with a great block getting out of his stance and ranging over towards the left-handed batter's box just to keep that ball in front of him and may have saved a run by the end of things here. So Leja's at the plate, 1-0 count to him. Diaz low this time, and it's going to be 2-0. I don't know, man. Uh, there's some there's some really cool ballpark foods out there. The Rangers have a few things. If you go to Arlington, Houston's got their own. Every ballpark's got their own thing. Probably the most famous is the Dodger Dog, though which is a hot dog they sell at Dodger Stadium, you know? <laughs> oh, it's just a hot dog? I, no, it's, it's got stuff on it, but I couldn't tell oh. you what it is because I can't stand the Dodgers, so, you know. Oh. Isn't that terrible? Here comes the 2-0, swung on, fouled off here by Leja, and we'll get to do it again. Or is it 3-1 now, right? Correct? Yes. Three it balls, three one. one strike. Mm -hmm. And so Leja will take a step back and... 
Now back into the box. Diaz with the 3 1 gets it inside for a ball. And now the bases are loaded here for the heavy hitter, Leva. I wonder if no one wants, like no one else wants to pitch for the Panthers. Well, we've had Diaz, we've had Gabriel Juarez that I've seen so far this year. And Sebastian Arroyo. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, coach out to speak with this pitcher here. First time coaches come out, so they don't have to make a change here, but they may. You just got to throw strikes, let your uh, defense stick there with you, and uh, you got to trust them to catch the ball, make the right play. I just want to know who's Ox right now. <laughs> Whose music is this? Probably the, the people that were not too nice to that cameraman. Well, well <laughs> it'll be all right. Hey, by the way, how did the softball team do Saturday? Um, they stopped the game like a sixth inning. Yeah. Man. So they were behind a lot. Yeah, they were playing a, a tough team. Yeah. So. Who were they going against? Loving, right? Yeah, it was Loving. Oh. Loving's ranked pretty high up in uh, the rankings last I saw. Anyhow, I guess I could check again. Now the conference on the mound broken up by the gracious blue shirt at home plate umpire. Man, what a day it is, really. It's pretty nice. You know, when the sun's behind the cloud like that right there, you get a little breeze, it's not so bad. Yeah, no, I just like noticed myself like not putting my hand up. Yeah, beautiful weather here for baseball today. Diaz deals. About three feet outside that time, and uh, if you've ever seen the movie Major League, which you guys probably haven't, but I have, and hear Bob Uecker say, just a bit outside. Oh, wait, no, wait. <laughs> have no. What is it about? It's a baseball team. They're they're the Cleveland Indians, what they used to be called. They're the Guardians now. Oh, no, I was thinking this about the girls' one. This ball is hit out to left. Camping under it is what is out and left. He will squeeze it and make the play, but... Damage done. Three runs across here in the top half of the second inning to make it a 4 nothing lead for the Falcons. As we head to the home half of the second, the Panthers up to bat when we come back. Eunice they Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Back here in Jow, New Mexico, or as uh, Google calls it, Jow. <laughs> Jow. Uh, every time I say, hey, Google, can you take me to Jow High School? It'll say, where do you want to go? If I, and then I punch it in, and it says, oh, Jow. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, a little, a little bit different. But the uh, beautiful town of Jow, New Mexico here, with the only lake in the world that spells out the town's name. Okay, you see, it's famous. Oh, and the cowboy sculptures out here. Oh, yeah. Those oh, are yes, cool, man. yes. Those are cool. They really are. A lot of history in this Lee County area. But your Panthers trailing the Falcons here for nothing as they come up to bat here in the bottom of the second inning. First batter is going to be, it looks like, Taylor here. Oh. So it'll be Cash Taylor to <laughs> Not the Coco step song. up. Shout out to the movie Coco. <laughs> it's really Never good watched movie. it. Actually, now you have some homework. You gotta yeah, watch. That's Coco. like the most like popular movie. But I'm old. I'll fall asleep early. You know. Uh, just, yeah. Well, then you should watch that when you're about to go. I'm sleep. already up past my bedtime. <laughs> so here we go, folks. First pitch from Leha is going to bounce and get back to Leva, but it'll be a 1-0 count here to Taylor. Taylor is the catcher. Where's number nine here for the Panthers? He'll be followed by Gabriel Juarez and Sebastian Arroyo in this inning. 
First pitch on its way, or second pitch on its way, excuse me, and swinging and falling is. And looks hurts. Yeah, it looks like he twisted an ankle trying to hold himself up there, but he'll get up and walk it off. He's a tough kid. One one year count here. The umpire checking with him, make sure he's all right. Dabs it up and says, let's go. So we will see what happens here. Only a four nothing game. Of four runs you can make in one inning pretty, uh, well, I wouldn't say easily, but it, it happens a lot. That one's gonna go way outside and Taylor still got a bit of a gimp as he uh, leaned back on that foot looking at that swing. I wonder who the catcher would be. His he has caught every game I've seen so far in this one. Well, maybe he might just pull on Alexa Talavera. Yeah, I tell you what, <laughs> she was in a lot of pain last week. Uh, Got to give a shout out to her for just staying in the game. Comes out the next day without a limp, and I thought, <laughs> how? Yeah, I think she said, was it her hamstring or her ankle? I can't remember, but she I walked think it was in. Her hamstring. She was yeah. like a hamstring's a hamstring. Tell you what, those are those are those hurt. When they go, they hurt. Back of the thigh, and it just connects everything there. Whew. It's no fun. And well, then crouching like that? Yeah. Yeah, no. Taylor now back in the box after speaking with Coach and the umpire here. The 2-1, that should make it 3-1 there, I believe, would be the count. But uh, we'll double check it with the umpire when he throws his hands up, if he does. Yeah. Oh, he's got it at two and oh. two. Two balls, two strikes here. So, Taylor will swing and miss on that one, and he will strike out. First out of the inning for the leadoff batter, and that'll br bring up Gabriel Juarez. See the walkout song. Let's hear it. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you had a walk-up song, what would yours be? Uh, the My Little Pony intro. <laughs> Sorry, I think that would, that would, that would be fire. Right, once I quit, I'm leaving. <laughs> pony, would you be? Um, they had give me the rainbow one. Here we go. What is? We'll take the first pitch. It'll come I'm across for a way. strike. There, it's 0 and 1 to Gabriel Waters. My would my walkout song. I think it's like no balls, one strike. What song is it? I don't know. You act like I can read your and mind. here comes the 0-1. It's popped up foul towards the right side. First baseman ranges and makes the catch. Oh, he disappeared. Like, oh. Where'd he go? Oh, they say he didn't make the catch. And so Waters back to uh, get the bat and come back up. Either way, that should be an 0-2 count here. Because he did ring a strike on the first one. The scoreboard's got it wrong, I promise. Oh, so then I have it wrong, too. Yeah, it's 0-2. And here we go. The 0 2 on its way to what is up high, ducking out of the way. And now it's a 1 2 count. That's what I have. So the foul ball and the strike on the first pitch made it 1 2. And Leha to the plate. That's a strike there, too. And now he's going to call it 2 2. Are you kidding me? He called it. That should have been third strike. Even, even the umpire called it a strike. Oh, yeah. See, there it is. I was right. Told you. So, no cookies for me. Nobody flinched again on the foul balls. We, nobody's had to owe anybody anything yet? No. No. Nah, that's terrible. If Two. I did, I would just steal a Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> Two outs in the inning here now. We, we don't look kindly upon thieving here, you know. So, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. we do whenever they steal bases, right? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's not thieving. Oh. See, then when I'm, what I, it has, I no, still it has no monetary value. The steal does not. Unless you ask Ricky Henderson, and y'all don't know who that is. So there we go. One oak out here to the batter who is going to be uh, number one, Sebastian Arroyo. The sun's back up. Yeah, I wish the clouds could block it out a little more, but you know, at least we're under a nice overhang here. We'll get some Ooh, shade okay. shortly. This ball hit over towards second. Up with it is uh, out. Number five, and that is uh, Onsores. He is able to get the throw over to first and retire the Panthers, who now trail 4 nothing as we head into the third, unable to get a base runner in this inning. The only base runner the Panthers have had got thrown trying to steal second. So that's where we sit at the moment. It is 4 nothing loving with the Falcons coming back to bat here in the top half of the third. 
We'll be back in a minute. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. You've just changed the light bulb Emmy Lou Hahn, energy, to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb. One that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Yes, they did. Uh, actually, we are back here in Jowett. He's just out taking these warm-up pitches for Taylor because he had to get all his gear on. Oh. So that, that happens <laughs> a lot here. I was going to be, like, excited for a new player. Yep. Uh, we could have had a new player, unfortunately. Not yet. Out on the field for the Panthers. They throw it 4 nothing to the Loving Falcons from, uh, well, I don't know how far it is from Jowell. I know from Hobbs I can make it to Loving in about an hour and ten minutes or so. Not too bad. South of Carlsbad. So do we have to travel on the bus with them whenever we do these? That is completely up to your uh, uh, athletic director. I think he's going to make us. Yeah. And probably, yes. I mean, it save money and be safer, they would think. They can't be uh, responsible for you two if you're driving your own car. And exactly. Going there. So, however, I will still take my car. I won't ride on the bus with you guys. <laughs> I'll probably beat you there and beat you back. I so. understand that one. <laughs> yeah. Either way, here we go. Diaz falls off the mound on his first attempt. Taylor back there with a, a gimpy ankle as well, and it is a 1-0 count here to number three, and that is. Poras, the shortstop. Now a strike thrown here from Diaz, who if he'll just relax and keep doing that, we'll be in a better position here as we continue to roll. One and one the count here. We're in the top half of the third inning. A 4-0 lead for the Falcons. This, the batter Poras leading off the inning. Two and one as that pitch misses as well. And by the way, folks around y'all, if y'all see Miss Acosta here out and about town, congratulate her on her wonderful performance at the state powerlifting competition. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think I so did So what good. did you lift to live, uh, be five pounds out? Uh, I think it was – let me go check, actually. To so a 2-2 two two misses there and bounces to Taylor. It'll be a full count and a payoff pitch coming here. My total was 385. Woo, 385 pounds. Of course, like 100 and something at a time. Is that how? No, I'm just asking. I don't know how the power lifting works. This ball is hit into right field. Going to get down for a hit as Porras rounds second as the ball batted around out in right field. Now he's all the way towards third. And he's in there safely as out in right field. Uh, Salceda had a tough time with the ball there, lost it. Uh, two extra bases were gained there. It's a single with a two base error ruled here as coming to the plate should be number one, Collins. But uh, yeah, so how's that work? You get So they take the cumulative total on the lifts or? I think so, I think that's how it works. Do you know how much you lifted each time or? Uh, I think. Okay, go ahead and just throw it out there. Like in everything? No, just one just one lift. Like what was your best lift? I think that was my best lift. You you lifted three hundred and eighty five pounds? Yeah, like, like in total. In total. Oh, like okay. your legs or your no. arms? But or? I'm just saying just for like how many times did you have to lift to get to three eighty five? As that ball got away from the catcher, it'll be a one and one count here to Collins. I have no idea. Well see, you should probably know that. <laughs> I know, but but I bet it's more than you weigh. Yeah. 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 That that blows so. my mind. It really does. I weighed in at like one oh four point six. And probably lifted one fifty. 
Man, I wish I was that strong. I'm just, it's sad. Anyways, that pitch misses as well. We've got a 2-1 count here at the ballpark. Panthers trailing Loving 4 to nothing as uh, the sun starting to begin its descent out near right field. This ball lifted into left. Under it is Waters. He'll catch it. Runner tags coming to the plate. And the throw just a second behind that time as scoring will be the runner at the plate in number three, Porras. So, 5 nothing with an out here now in the inning. I thought it was 5 nothing. It is. Oh, okay. They just haven't caught up with us on the scoreboard yet, so... I was like, what's taking the so long? runner tagged up from third, and there it is up on the board. Now up over the head of the batter is the pitch from Diaz, the batter on Suarez, the second baseman who made the play to end the last inning. So if you were to power lift over there, Natalie, you think you could outlift her? Definitely. Oh. I would be oh, lifting her. Okay. I think there's a challenge. <laughs> okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Natalie. First pitch. Someone's intimidated. First pitch to our students <laughs> is called a ball behind the plate. So it'll be a 1-0 count here. One away, 5 nothing, loving leading here in the third. And they're still at bat. Strike across that time by Diaz, and it's 1-1. One one. Dusty, do you think you can out? lift me no ma'am i'm old and I, it would wreck my <laughs> back i'd break a hip and probably get a hernia so you know <laughs> it, it just couldn't happen the one one misses for a two one count here to on Sores. i don't know I, you know lifting weights man I, I would lift them but they just seem so heavy oh now they have like a full count yep full count here after the foul ball it was three one the scoreboard's a little bit behind us today, which means we're getting better at our jobs, folks. Again, I'm Dusty Wyndham, Valeria Acosta on the camera work, and of course, the color commentary provided by Natalie Navarrete. This ball lifted out into center, under it, and making the play out there is going to be Luke Gwynn. So two outs in the inning now, as coming to the plate will be number 18. Make sure I got him on my roster. I do. It's Austin, the first baseman. I think this game is going by very slow. Or is it just me? Well, well we talked by. about it. Uh, baseball seems to be slower than softball anyways. And, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of creeping by. What was that? It hit him. He got hit by the pitch from Diaz. So... An easy base for Austin, and it should bring up Rodriguez. That's who's due up in the lineup anyhow, and we'll check his number. If it's number 10, we're right. It is number 10. So there we go. So two outs, a runner on first for the Falcons. Top half of this third inning, they lead it 5-0 over your Panthers. First pitch from Christian Diaz up high to Cash Taylor, and he'll get it back out there. And so here we go. That one catches the corner of the plate on the breaking ball from Diaz, and it's a 1-1 count. I tell you, the Panther D hadn't been terrible out here today, and neither has the pitching, but they've got to get some runs on the board, got to get some hits going. This ball chopped over to second, up with it, and over to make the play is going to be Santian, and he'll get it over to first. That will retire the Falcons here as we're uh, through two and a half innings now. Bottom half of the third coming up with your Panthers trailing 5 nothing. They're going to need some runs here pretty quick uh, to stay in this one, don't you think? Yes, I agree. I agree, but see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. That's why they play the game. We'll be back in a moment <laughs> with more Panther baseball. So Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. The Woolworth Community Life. 
Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. pretty good money. We're back here and <laughs> we are slowly uh, readjusting as uh, what I dropped my water. My wonderful water from Allsup's there. Good water. It's It's got electrolytes in it. Oh. Yeah, you got to worry about hydration when you're mm. my age too, folks. It's kind of like the, what is it? The Smart life, water. No, life, life water. Life water. Yeah. yeah. This is what you My favorite is vitamin water because it's flavored, but I don't. I don't even think vitamin water is healthy for you. It's okay. <laughs> Neither is anything I eat. Or oh, anything nice. Else. So, you know, I mean, look, I, I've always said it this way. If everything's going to make you sick or kill you, you may as well enjoy yourself anyway. Yeah, might as well not even worry about it. We're in the bottom half of the third inning as we return to Jow, New Mexico here. I'm Dusty Windham, Natalie Navarrete, and Valeria Acosta alongside. For the ride here today, the Panthers trailing the Falcons 5 0 and coming to the plate here for uh, Jal is going to be. Let me double check. Is it uh, Salcedo? Freddy? Uh, no. uh, yeah. Fernando? Or, for, or Fernando, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Nothing going like Fred. Big number 32, Mr. Salcedo. Now behind in the count, 0 oh 2 after fouling that one off. Behind him, it will be Christopher Baxter, number 25 there. And then Javier Santillan to the plate this inning for the Panthers. The 0 oh 2 is low for a ball called here, and it'll be one ball and two strikes. I think the I think it's it got better out here. It got like cooler. Yeah, it's the uh, the oh, breeze. Oh wow! Nice. This Ooh, one lined and out. It shortstop and over to make the play was Porras for the Falcons, and that ball hit pretty hard. If it gets through, an easy base hit. That was a good swing. It actually was, and a good catch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The kid in short really did well to get over towards it, and uh, that'll be one away here in the bottom half of the third. <laughs> So now coming to the plate is going to be Baxter. First time I've seen him this season, number 25, Christopher Baxter. You know, I don't know how I feel about these walkout songs. Me either. They're very... I wonder if they got to choose them or not. Yeah, they did. Huh. They're very non-hype. Some of them are. Yeah, you're right. Uh, now a ball thrown here by Leha, who's gotten through the first two innings without allowing a run against your Panthers. Yeah, I think my walkout song, it would be My Little Pony. You know, I think that would get me so hype. I think mine would be like, it's a rock song. It's like something pigs or something. Two and O oh is the count here. I don't know, man. I, I'm old, so I don't know any new songs. No, mine's like an older one. Okay. This one hit right up the middle. Baxter trying to leg it out, unable to do so as there's a strong play by the second baseman for the Falcons on Suarez. And he will make the throw across for the second out. That'll bring up number six. And that's Javier Santillan. I don't know. These walkout songs are... See, I don't like that one either. She plays Super Gremlin. <laughs> Coco Melon. Play some Coco Melon. Folks, oh, I have no idea well. what they're talking about now. Way <laughs> out of my league here. You don't watch Coco Melon? Nope. You don't know what a super gremlin is? <laughs> nope. But I know what a regular gremlin is, and I know you can't feed them after midnight. That's all I know. Ooh. Here's the first pitch here to Santillan. It's chopped on over to second on Soros with for the second straight play. Will glove it. Make the throw and retire the Falcons. The Falcons, so far, nothing going for them. Oh, as you know what? They trail it 5 nothing. I think it's War Pigs. War Pigs by Led Zeppelin. Black Sabbath? Black Sabbath. I mean, Black Sabbath. That's it. I said Led Zeppelin tonight. But no, I do know the song very well. 
Here we are through three innings, the Falcons leading as we discuss the merits of Black Sabbath for your walk of time. So is that the ones like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I, I promise I'm not Beavis or Butthead as we're on the <laughs> That told me a lot about the song. Hold on. Hold on. So. We're going to listen to this song. Hold on. Is it this one? Hey, you got to put it by the microphone. So oh, put it by the microphone. There you go. We're keeping it here in between innings. We're through three. And yes, that is it. No idea. Yeah. You know who the lead singer of Black Sabbath was? Ozzy Osbourne. You know who oh, Ozzy is? Yeah, yeah he's British. Go. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's How British. do y'all know these people? I know everything except I know nothing. Oh, you know, it goes, his famous song, I'll show you. Uh, I don't know. Crazy, crazy Train's probably one of his most yeah, famous. Yeah, Crazy ones. Train. Yep, that would be the one there. But anyways, 5 nothing, loving leading over the Panthers. The Panthers have had one base runner in the entire game. I yeah. think I've only heard the I, I. Yeah, yeah that's, that's from another one. Right. But either way, either way we're... Uh, Watching these Panthers, they have a, only had the one base runner. That was the first batter of the game, yeah. Adam Waters. He was thrown out at third trying to steal. And uh, other than that, it has been all loving Falcons so far in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? Diaz, is that still him on the mound? It looks like it is. Yeah. So we'll see if uh, he can get through this inning. They gave up one in the first, three in the second, one in the third. Now we're in the top half of the fourth inning. And the game's scheduled to go seven innings here at uh, Babe Ruth Field. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to clarify that, man. That's pretty cool, though. Babe Ruth, the probably the most famous baseball player of all time. Oh, yeah. I, I knew I heard him somewhere. There's a candy bar about him, right? Oh, my goodness. No. <laughs> but, yeah, sure. Are you serious? No, it's called, for real. That one's called Baby Ruth. Yeah, it? Baby Ruth, same thing. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, There's you're not. done. You can walk yourself out. <laughs> well, Babe, disconnect yourself. Babe, Babe I Ruth sound disconnected. hit 714 <laughs> home runs in Major League Baseball. Actually, that's crazy. Not in one year, though. So, oh. Yeah. That'd be even crazier. Does anybody know who the most ever in one year is? No. Me. Barry oh. Bonds. Oh. Yeah. See, I never heard of that one. Yeah. And, he, <laughs> never heard of that and one. he's not in the Hall of Fame because they think he used steroids. Either way, Ooh, so it was a, it's a 2-0 count now, 3-0. But, uh, you know, the guy that has the most hits in the history of Major League Baseball is Pete Rose. And he's not in the Hall of Fame because he uh, bet on baseball. Can't do that when you're oh. playing or managing. This one will come in, hit the batter. It wouldn't have mattered. It was a ball anyways. It was a four-pitch walk. He was just walk. trying to get a side hustle, you know? I, yeah. You got to do what you got to do support sometime. his family. Yeah. Yeah, you know those millions a year they make, isn't it? Well, they were, they were getting paid like probably $5 a year. No, this was in the 70s. They were making decent money. Dollars <laughs> a year. 70s and 80s. Either way, runner at first to lead off the inning for the Loving Falcons. And running quickly, Taylor with the throw to try to nail him. Too quick this time is the batter. There was a strike called. So it's an 0-1 count. But the batter, Tarin, and that was Bunch on base. And he is now at second on the steal. That throw not in time to get the runner. So, the 0 1 here with nobody out in the runner in scoring position for the Falcons already leading. 0 2 now with a swing and a miss. Good pitch that time. Just see the bottom just drop out of that as it, it broke straight down. Good curveball that time. Do the, no. the professional baseball players, <laughs> do they ever hit hit the players? Oh, yeah. All time. Oh, I know that hurts. Sometimes on purpose. Like what, 90 or no, like 60 no, miles they, per hour? They, they throw 99 to 102 miles an hour. I'd rather just get hit with a car, you know? <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't like that. With much. the car. <laughs> Swing and a miss, a drop third strike. Taylor tags the runner before he gets past him there as he forgot to run on the third strike, but that isn't out there. And it is a one out call here. So, runner in second, and nobody out. Yeah. You, you, you can see it every now and then. Uh, maybe a player slides into another player on a play and takes his legs out. The pitcher will come up next inning and just bean him. <laughs> I think we should try it out, Natalie. Yeah. Say, Let's base, see which one hurts worse. Baseball weighs, <laughs> what, about a pound maybe? A car at about 2,000 pounds. Let's see which one you We have to would. test it out. Yeah. 
We're going to test it out <laughs> after the broadcast. I don't know if y'all are brave or dumb or if it's the same <laughs> we're thing. We're going to put the luck. camera in the parking lot. So no, we're not. We're, I am not being a party to filming <laughs> juvenile <laughs> violence. There you go. So it's a one oh cap. We're just kidding, everybody. <laughs> and they are, I hope. As uh, Leha comes to the mound or comes to the plate, the pitcher for the it's, Falcons. It's Gen up. Z humor. Okay. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder. I don't, I don't even know uh, what generation I am. I'm in that lost generation, you know. Oh, that sounds a I'll little say sad. The, the Babe Ruth. It's the Baby Ruth. It's mysterious, not sad. Thank you. <laughs> this ball is hit high into left field. It's trailing <laughs> the towards Ruth the foul territory. It does get there. And Ooh. making the play is Waters right up against the fencing. Good play to stick his hand out, know where the fence was, and still make the play. So two outs now here as Leha flies out to left. The runner stays put at second base, does not tag up on that play. And that'll bring up the catcher, Leva. Dang, Adam Morris looked like a professional out there. Mm -hmm. He did. It, it was really a good play out and left. It really was. So here we go now with the throw to second on the pickoff move. If Just to really keep the runner on us getting back there, not much of a move that time by Diaz. But buys him some time as stepping in is Leva. Leva now will... Uh, Look at the first pitch come up high for a ball. It's 1-0. and Again, top half of the fourth inning. 5 nothing loving over your Panthers here. Panthers are just trying to get ready to uh, play well through district play, earn a playoff spot, and see what they can do. If you're playing well at the right time of year, you could win the whole thing. Which, by that, I mean the state championship. I wasn't sure if y'all were following, so. Oh. <laughs> Too old. Uh, honestly, I was thinking about way. my wrinkles. <laughs> that was up. <laughs> that I'm going to get after <laughs> the season. That was coming up. 3 0 now as uh, in danger of another four pitch walk. And something you do not like to see out of your pitcher ever. That one, a ball called. That's a walk. I was wondering why he was still standing there. He's buffering a little bit. <laughs> is that what that is? It's yeah. too hot out here. <laughs> I, I think he feels it. <laughs> That's terrible, y'all. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so it is uh, another batter up. This one, the five-hole hitter in Porras. 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 Is that P-O-O or P-O-R-R-A-Z? Porras, maybe? Porras. Sure. You say it the way you want to. Either way, we are. We have him coming that to the That country accent was good. I actually had a country accent when I said that. <laughs> You are from Texas. Yeah, I am. That's pretty country. <laughs> that was pretty country of you. <laughs> there you go. Now, Yeehaw. the first pitch swinging is Porras. He fouls it back. It'll, oh, oh, my. He fouled it back. It actually went out towards second. It looked like it was coming straight back. Even the batter turned and looked at it. Oh, and they now, the to catch throw gets away at home. We've got a run across now, two runs across. That makes it a 7 nothing game in favor of the Falcons. Panthers tending to throw the ball around the infield as it comes in, and, and the inaccuracies make it tough for the player receiving the throw, as in Taylor this time. We had to chase that. Now on second after the single and error that led to the base running, it's a 7 nothing score. Two outs, though, here in the fourth, but the Falcons still have one in scoring position. First pitch here comes to Collins. Wearing number one there, and uh, it's a called ball. Taylor will have to restrap his shin guards here. You know what I found so crazy is that there was like three people right there. Yeah. Like trying to get that ball. And dirt everywhere. Mm -hmm. it, it could get a bit crowded. It looked like a cat fight, you know? <laughs> Not really. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, Where are you getting all this stuff from? It, it's chaos when you have that many people <laughs> around the plate and you're trying to watch the ball come in and trying to catch it. Tag a runner. You got to know where the runner is, too. Yeah, it was so chaotic. You're absolutely right. Ooh. That one almost hits uh, Collins in the head. The pitch gets away from Taylor, who is visibly frustrated right now with the uh, pitch locations from Diaz. As, as he nods his head. He should be a little upset. Wah, I mean, that, that, it's tough on a catcher, and everybody's uh, going to say, well, uh, why, why'd that ball get by you? Well, number one, it went over the head and behind uh, the other batter. I had to get up go? out of my stance, try to reach it. Did you say who, who's saying that? But Diaz really has had some trouble with oh. control. This ball's ripped in the left center field. 
And it's going to roll to the wall. At least a double here, stand-up double at that. As another run comes across, 8 nothing your score here. And we're still in the top half of the fourth. Coming to the plate now will be number five, Onsures. I just love how good you are with these names. Like I can never remember. Yeah, them. no, I can't. I can't even see that number. Onsures. Well, I've been doing it a long time. Been yeah. doing it a long time. I yeah. mean, and these names aren't so bad. You go to the junior college, you got guys like Issei Yanagisawa out of oh. Japan. <laughs> yeah. So they like go that. to the JC from Japan? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Australia. Oh. We have players from Australia, the right Dominican here. Republic. We have some from uh, Mexico. We have <laughs> players from everywhere. I, the, the kid from Australia, by the way, his name is Brent Iredell, plays short and third base for us. Number one in the nation in home runs hit in Juco ball this year. You need to, you just have to learn how to say Porres, like. Porras. Por, you say it. You can say it. Porres? Porres? No. Like, Is like, that how you say it? Porres? Porres? Either way, we have had the pitching change made finally Porres. here in Jow, as it'll be Gabriel Waters coming to the mound for. It sounds kind of like Porre, right? Is that the thing? Like pudding? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> when you say porous, I think something that has a lot of holes in it, moisture gets through porous, you know? I think of like, I, I think, think of porridge. The name. Like, like Goldilocks in the three days. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I envision the, the name. Okay. Porous, like written out. Are you dyslexic? I uh, know. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's not schizophrenic and neither <laughs> am I. So, no, uh, oh, y'all aren't schizophrenic? Uh, it's only Val. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little bit, you know. This personality's <laughs> not, but my other two are. So. Oh, <laughs> you have split That's personalities? Yeah. Oh. I made Val throw away one of them. Yo, know, <laughs> no, It's in the them, trash now. None of them like each other, so it's a constant battle. Either way, Gabriel Waters <laughs> on in relief after the score now. 8 nothing here in Jal. The Panthers are trailing the Loving Falcons. I'm being clever today. No, you're not. I am. These jokes you're like pulling, they're not even funny. I'm just laughing to make you feel a little better. Whatever, that's why you're like trying to look away and laugh because you're embarrassed that you find that it I'm funny. That I'm laughing at your jokes. No, that you okay. find it funny. That's actually not true. Because guys, you try not to have la uh, laugh lines, you know, when she's older. These are, these are dad jokes coming out of these young ladies here. I want y'all to know that. Guys, we're, we've become dads. I'm Adam um, Sandler. No, you're not. I am. Are you Adam Sandler? No. Oh. But I like Adam Sandler. I'm as I rich as Adam Sandler. I tell you what, I started. <laughs> that bank account is different. He had albums of comedy. You go buy a CD of the album uh, back in, when I was in school, and that's when he really started his comedy stuff. Many he has an album. Ago. You know, He's I make the same jokes, so them, I think actually. I can get pretty popular. No. Yeah. Kay. Don't hype yourself. Instead up. of yeah, I'll talk about. That's terrible. <laughs> We're in an eight-nothing <laughs> contest here. The Panthers are trailing. The Falcons, as uh, we're getting some text in, I want to make sure we're good. Do you have the inning fixed to the fourth inning, ma'am? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. And we'll see how the rest of this one goes. But two outs here in the inning as Waters takes over. He, his first two pitches have been balls. Taylor has to chase this one as well. It bounces a foot in front of the plate and gets by him. And now the runner will advance to third. So with a runner at third and two outs. And well, Val flinched. Did you did you flinch on that? Are you talking about yourself? Because I didn't you. flinch. I'm I was talking about Valerie. Oh, I was looking at the at the score thing, oh. so that I could keep it good. I don't want to yeah. get in trouble. It's, it's my other personality. It's two zero count. A throw over to third to keep the runner there from Waters, and he'll get the ball back here, and we'll deal to the plate. Strike called here as it is still on Suarez at the plate. Of course. Austin behind him in the lineup. And two and one year count, two balls and a strike. You know, if these if this table was like three feet closer to the net, we'd all be in the shade. If only we're about to unscrew oh no, look, they move too. Yeah, they do, because I see the bolts are taking out of them right here. <laughs> we're gonna start scooting it forward. <laughs> nah. We'd probably drop the camera. Three and one to count. Now a throw over towards third is a bit late. It was close, but late to get the runner. So three and one now. Waters 
Got to remember, take your back foot off the rubber. I'm not sure he did there. Before you throw to a base, you got to take your back foot off the pitching mound. And he'll come to the plate and a walk issued here. So more free bases given to the Falcons as Waters faces his first and walks him on five pitches. Coming to the plate is Austin, the first baseman. You know, Wait. I thought Arroyo did really good last time when he was pitching. I did yeah. too. I did too. But, you know, uh, Coach Mayfield, he needs him in the outfield more, or, you know, uh, for this game. And it's, it's tough to guess the decisions that go behind the lineups a lot of times. Runners are on the corners. First and third here for the Falcons. Stepping up is Austin. This one will bounce. Runner goes, and he's going to be there easily as Taylor's still a bit gimpy behind the plate. The Panther backstop uh, twisted an ankle on a huge swing uh, and I think it was second inning now but it's been a little bit unsteady on that ankle since again runners at second and third two outs up high another ball thrown there and that's going to be a 2-0 count I believe our scoreboard more accurate than the uh, board here at the field for the moment but they'll catch up Hopefully. I had to stand up, man, without having a back to uh, lean against on the seat here. Gets a little rough. This one's fouled straight back into the netting. Did you flinch on that one? I uh, almost did. She didn't. Neither one of y'all did. I was watching. <laughs> so there you go. So now a two balls and one strike count. And Austin will step back in. Gabriel Waters will deal to the plate way up high again. On the curveball, he's not getting that snap on his wrist. You can you can see that. You got to snap the ball down to get the laces spinning in the right direction to get the ball to curve. And he's releasing that too early and not putting the spin on the ball. It's staying up high. And that's been a problem for both pitchers for the Panthers so far. A swing and a miss there. And the count now full with three balls and two strikes. Payoff pitch coming here with two outs and two on for the Falcons, already leading 8 nothing in the top half of the fourth inning here in Jal, New Mexico. Honestly, these seats are really hurting my back. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. This one chopped towards third from his knees, making the play, but throwing the oh. ball well Ooh. over the head of the first baseman is going to be the third bagger for the Panthers now 10 nothing is two run score there. Loving in the lead on the error. The third baseman is um, let me double check that. It is it was Gabriel Wattis, and now is that Diaz that took over for him at third? It looks like it is. Yeah. So Diaz with the error there and two more runs coming across. It should be 10 nothing. It is. I, I promise you it is, because there's nobody left at second or third, and there were two on. So it's a 10 nothing score here. Now, that's up on the board. Now, faking the throw towards first is the pitcher, Wattis. And at the plate, who do we have after Austin? Of course, it is the uh, right fielder, Rodriguez, wearing number 10. He gets this one over George Short, up with it, and tossing it to second for the final out of the inning is going to be Arroyo. So. After five more runs come across, it is 10 to nothing in favor of the Loving Falcons as the Panthers come up and they need to get a run across to extend the game here pretty soon. So we'll see if that happens. We'll be back in a moment after this. Mama Cita Senjal has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jal, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jal, is a proud supporter of the Jal community. Mamacitas in Jal. 
Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. I got circus here in jail right now as we're back. You say you can't hear, huh? Uh, yeah, uh, we can hear each other, I think. Can you, I, yeah, can you yeah, hear yeah, me? Wait, I you. can't hear myself. Wait, can you hear me? I can hear oh, you. Okay, I just can't hear myself then. But it's probably because you're talking, you know? You can't hear when you're talking. <laughs> no, because I can usually hear myself. Yeah, either way, I could turn you up a little bit here in the uh, headset, perhaps. We'll try that. Can you hear yourself? Um, yeah. Okay. That's a lot better, though. Okay, 10 nothing after a five-run fourth inning for the Falcons. Your Panthers trail. And uh, haven't had a base runner since the top half of the first inning when Adam Waters got the uh, hit to right field. Since then, nobody on base for the Panthers at all. And uh, it's, uh, it's getting down close to the time where you can be run rolled here. So we don't want to see that happen. Don't forget that uh, Saturday we have more. I think it's baseball. Is it baseball Saturday as well? I'll double check. I thought it was softball. But no, it's baseball. Oh, uh, oh yeah, their game got moved. Yeah. So we'll be here, or actually these two will be here. I'll be back in Hobbs again as I cover New Mexico Junior College for the college themselves. HobbsAmerica.com, of course, that's where we are here in Jow. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And uh, we'll get into some stuff here. Perhaps, as coming to the plate, it should be actually Adam Waters. Is it? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Okay. Double checking to make sure as I look down at my schedule here. First pitch, a ball, and it's 1-0. and oh. Get into my emails from Mr. TJ Miracle, the schedule maker extraordinaire, amongst other things, there for HobbsAmerica.com. The 1 0 from Gabriel Waters on its way. Oh! Or not from Gabriel Waters, I'm on the wrong side of things. That is Leha with the pitch and grounding it at short. And the shortstop making the play was Adam Waters. Uh, one away here in the bottom half of the fourth now for your Panthers. Let me see, so our game will be, see if there's been any changes made to the schedule. You know, I wonder if he really likes this song or if he played that song like as a joke. Who knows? <laughs> I guess you could ask him later, after uh, everything's done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, Joe. Oh. We will have Jow Baseball here versus the Eunice Cardinals in a district matchup. It is two games, oh, a doubleheader. Yeah. So uh, we'll have all the action for you starting 10 a.m. The pitch came in there for a ball. And now here's the next pitch. Good hit here. Panthers have their second hit of the ball game as reaching base will be number five, Luke Gwynn, the center fielder. So I thought this was going to be M's in my bank account. So this is going. You can get out. <laughs> so here comes the starting pitcher now playing third base, Christian Diaz here, and the Panthers need a run just to extend the game if they can't score here in the next uh, five outs. This one is history. Falcons deal. Leha has it fouled right back. I'm glad y'all weren't watching. Just kidding, I didn't flinch. <laughs> it came right at us. It's I was like, uh, I was like, it kind of looked like it went straight at you. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a beautiful day out here. But yes, Saturday, Jow Panther baseball here against Eunice. As they'll start district play, two games, one at 10 a.m., one 30 minutes following the conclusion of that one. As we have, now is it 0-1? Okay. 0-1 count, and then uh, Eunice Softball will be uh, playing uh, versus Jow in Eunice, and that will be on HobbsAmerica.com as well, but it'll be Jimmy uh, Jones and his crew doing the game there for the Cardinals and Panthers. 
So Lee County covered. Uh, HobbsAmerica.com has all kinds of things going on this week. As we speak right now, there's Lovington and softball playing. Uh, Lovington softball playing Portales. Uh, of course, this game, Hobbs softball is playing Roswell, and Eunice softball is taking on Loving as well. That all on HobbsAmerica.com today. And then Thursday, you'll have Hobbs baseball versus the Roswell Coyotes. Uh, Lovington Baseball versus Goddard and Lovington Softball playing against Artesia. This ball will get through. The Panthers might get a run in. The throw coming to the plate is going to be late. And scoring is going to be Gwynn. RBI single there for uh, I like this one. Diaz. Me too. And now we're going to have a different batter. As he's going to come in and catch the rest of the game for Taylor, I believe. And it will be number 20. And if I read this right, uh, I can't read his first name, but it's Roberson. Roberson, yeah. yes. So the first name again? Do you know? Uh, Kobe. 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 Okay, wanted to make sure it's just really faint on this carbon copy we have here. So Kobe, uh, this will be the first time I've seen him in a ball game this season. So Roberson steps up, takes first pitch outside from Leha. And the Panthers got something rolling. Trailing now 10 to 1 in the game. With the runner at first and just one out after the RBI single from Diaz, who now stands at first. Leha to the plate. Perfect pitch for a strike there, and it's one and one. Roberson looks like if he gets a hold of one, that ball is going to fly a mile. A little size on him here. Yeah, I'm a little scared. <laughs> I think the ball should be scared. Maybe I agree. Leha will come to the plate. Roberson, oh. he was out in front of that, but he'll chop it towards third. Can they get the out? They do at second. On the good play, uh, good slide there by Diaz. He almost beat the throw, but Roberson now will stand on first. And who does that bring up? Number 13, Big Gabe Juarez. So the pitcher now started at third base. Here, but came in in relief of Diaz. And with two outs, he'll have Roberson at first. Who will probably get lifted for, I thought he'd get lifted for a pinch runner. He did, a courtesy runner anyways. Can't see who it is on the base pass. There, I think it might be Jackson. Oh, yeah, no, it might Jackson. be Jackson. Okay, there you go. And is that Ramos, Jackson Ramos? Yes. He actually called the basketball games oh, this yeah, season him. for Joe. Him and, and Adam? Yep, I got to meet both of them then. <laughs> so nice kids, nice young men, very polite. They grow them up right here in Jow, right? Mm, grow up right or grow up? The, the parents, they raise their kids right, you know, to be oh. respectful and such. Yeah. Um. No, don't say that. Don't say um. that. You know what? We're muting you. You're done. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Hey, I'm just here to comment and be honest. <laughs> I mean, I've been telling you to mute her for now. I know, <laughs> like four games in a row. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> <laughs> as long as I get paid still. So the 1-0 <laughs> pitch on its way here to Waters will miss, a, or is 1-1 one, one pitch, excuse me, now 2-1, and one, as that one will be called ball. Again, Valeria Acosta on the camera work. Ms. Natalie Navarrete on the commentary. Thank you both for being here and helping me out, guys. <laughs> and if the camera view is not good, then I'm not controlling it. It's Dusty. Blame it on Dusty. Dusty is nowhere near the camera. <laughs> Thank you very much. This ball down as well. Another hit given up by Reha as the Panthers oh, now will have runners at stop. first and third. So, new batter going to be number one. And that's Sebastian Arroyo, the shortstop here in today's ballgame for the Panthers. Has a chance to drive in and run and, and uh, cut into this lead a bit. It is 10-1 to Falcons in the bottom half of the fourth. Panthers have runners at first and third. Coach out of the dugout on the loving side. So we'll see if the Falcons make a change or if they're just going to come out and visit here. Looks like They he just want to have a little chit-chat. Maybe getting a little tired, the pitcher. Maybe it, it seems like uh, not as much zip on the fastball in the past couple innings. So how's your day been, Dusty? My day has been fantabulous. <laughs> That's not even a word, but I used it anyways. You're right. I got a had, little surprise there. I had to do some locksmith work back in town as I do that during the day. And then uh, had to research the game a bit. Got a late start coming here because of the locksmith work. Well, because of a mistake I made doing locksmith work. But uh, I fixed it. 
everybody's going to be able to shut their doors, lock them tonight there, <laughs> that uh, at least that I worked for today. Um, then, uh, of course, the nice leisurely drive to Jow from Hobbs. And then when I'm done, I get to turn around and do it again. Well, at least you can go, like, get McDonald's, you know? <laughs> no. I don't eat McDonald's. Or oh, Wendy's. Yeah. yeah. I eat Wendy's. It's about three blocks from my house. That's See, not too bad. That's my favorite. Taco Villa, Wiener Schnitzel right there. You like well. Wendy's? I love Wendy's. Have you ever tried Wendy's? I've tried Wendy's. You, you got to go get their new Frosty. It's orange creamsicle Frosty. And Ooh. it is it's so good. Wendy's is so good. Wendy's is all right. Their ranch ghost Nick. pepper was my favorite thing at Hobbs because there's nothing else to get. Oh, that should have been a block called, I think. But they'll fake the throw to third. Go back to first. The runner's safe at first for the Panthers. Uh, what is your favorite? Wendy's. Yeah. But only in Hobbs. That or, one there. I'm going to throw y'all both away. Whoa, you Wendy's. you like Taco Bell? No. What do you like? Rosa's? Cane's. Canes is not in Hobbs. Okay, but yeah. Canes is in my heart. Raising well, then Chick Fil A is my favorite. <laughs> Boo, boring. That's why Canes is basic. Basic. And bland. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, <laughs> I'll just say this because I cook at my house. Uh, the the uh, nice lady I live with for the last what 11 years now, Christina. She uh, she doesn't cook. I take care of the cooking. Oh, so is that your favorite restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite restaurant is uh, my kitchen. So your 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 favorite chef is me. <laughs> yeah, actually, there's a guy in Hobbs named Johnny Roberts, and he or Johnny's uh, also from Eunice has the Big Cheese Pizza in Eunice there, and uh, the Outlaw Grill. That's uh, Johnny. He's probably my favorite chef in Hobbs. My favorite chef is my grandma. I bet, Mancy. Like, I am my th own nothing chef. beats homemade oh, yeah. Mexican food. I'm telling you now. Yep. This ball hit out in the center. It's squeezed, and that'll do it for the Panthers in the inning. Hey, but they score a couple here. It is 10 to 2. As we head into the uh, top half of the fifth, didn't they score two? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We did. I think the scoreboard's just not caught up with us yet. Ten to two year score here. Um, Falcons still with an eight run lead as we head to the fifth. I think this might be my little pony. And this <laughs> oh, is this is y'all's chance to take over. Are you ready? No. I'm sitting on that side because there's more shade. There you go. Do you know how to work this? Actually, you sit over there. <laughs> So there you go, a change in direction as uh, Valeria and Natalie will take over. I'll sit back behind and watch the action live from Jow when we come back. Panther Energy are excited for their Jow Panthers and proud of all the Jow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. Okay. And we are back. Dusty just left us, so now we can be ourselves. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now we can be who we truly are. Yeah. Anyways, with me, I have... Natalie Navarrete. And myself, Valeria Costa. No, Dusty is in sight. <laughs> Honestly, he disappeared real quick. Yeah, he just <laughs> left. He, <laughs> he was like, ran. bye. <laughs> He's tired of us. Oh. First pitch will be... A ball. A, a ball, yeah. Okay. And now batting. We, who's, who's batting? I say now we have a guest. Oh, yeah, we have a guest here with us. Um, number nine batting. Oh, number nine, Rodriguez, is batting. Second pitch will be a strike? Yeah. So the count is 1-1. One, one. Ooh. Third pitch was far out. Making it a ball count will be two one. Anyways, our guest here is um, I'm Coach Richard. Yeah, somebody get him <laughs> out of here. 
somebody. <laughs> Let's call his wife over here. <laughs> oh. I think that one will be a ball, too, as it got really close to the batter. And the count is 3-1. And awaiting the fifth pitch. Fifth pitch will be a ball, making Rodriguez take the walk. Is this the fourth inning or the fifth inning? We're at the fourth inning, at the end of the fourth inning. Mm, this is going by so slow. I think you're just hungry. I've been here. I ate before I got here. That's why it took me forever. I ate macaroni. I thought you said that <laughs> there was a FedEx car in your driveway. <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> There was. No, there wasn't, you liar. <laughs> well, you heard my dog barking. Um, I don't know what's going on. Rodriguez was about to steal. He was, what? what is it called? What do they call it? Dancing? Dancing to second. Dancing to second. Okay, awaiting the pitch now. The pitch will be a ball. <clears throat> Ooh, the Pitch will be a ball, making the count 1-0, or 0-1, as it, oh, we have a new catcher, too. Yeah, Kobe. Well, I guess Cash is injured, or hurt, same thing, same difference. Yeah, he looked to be doing better, but. You know, coach's call. Ooh. Guys, you're right, coach is right. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 he gets in the way. Who's that? Number eight? Number eight. Number nine comes to home. And Rodriguez makes it to home, making the score 2 to 11. And Dusty will be taking care of the scoreboard because I am be. I'm taking care of the scoreboard, the camera, <laughs> and and I'm sitting here. Yeah. Um, working the machine box, okay? You're working nothing over there. I'm working everything. I'm serving. No, you're not. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's just being a hater. I don't know who this is. I think you're just oh number twelve it is. Oh, and he misses it. They also put someone new on first base. I think I'm gonna need you to read these. I don't know if I can. Where are we at right now? <laughs> uh, we just got down with number 12. He just hit. Oh, no, ma'am. Now it's 11. Uh, Leva, the, I think the pitcher is coming up to bat. Honestly, I could be wrong. It says two. So the, the catcher or the pitcher? Either one, I think. I get hit, I get Leha and Leva mixed up. So apologize if we are... Getting these names wrong. First pitch will be a ball as it is low and to the side. To the to the right, to the right. Oh no. Uh, you need to you, oh no. you need to go right to the door. You think you're funny. <laughs> you think you're actually so funny. Oh. Second pitch will be a strike. And I don't know who is on second. I think it was number 12. Who's number 12? Uh, Leha. Leha <laughs> steals second. Third pitch looked to be a little high. Yep. And it is a ball. So the count is 2 1. And your score is 11 to 1 as Panthers are trailing a little behind. You know, just a, just a tad bit. Ooh, and he's going to steal on Kobe's. Is what? It's and faster. number eight. Mm. Oh, number eight is a substitute. It's Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Because he's Pharaoh. Will be the first out for the Falcons. And we still have Leva on first. I mean, um. You're done. Yeah. Yeah, you're <laughs> done. You're done. <laughs> yeah. He's batting. Okay. Thank you for that information <laughs> that you could have told us a long time ago. I did. Mm. I'm reminding the new watchers if they if they have joined. Oh yeah. 
Actually, count is 2-1 as the fourth pitch oh yes he's walking yeah, I guess the count was 3-1 I think the scoreboard person the one that's on the scoreboard needs to like catch up getting our calls wrong <laughs> well coming in for yeah I can't tell you El Porres is number six? No, number three. No, this is number six. I just went in. That was a number eleven. Oh, okay. Is you're done. Mm, you're never Ruiz? doing this. <laughs> Ruiz. Ruiz. Ruiz is at first now. No, it's okay. You're done. It's Ruiz. Ruiz. Did I not just say that? No, you said Ruiz. Ruiz. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Whatever. I doubt they'll even watch. Yeah, cause I don't. I don't think anybody would want to watch if you're not even like calling the names right. Mm, it says there's two active viewers. There's, there's been a total of 22. Oh, nice. Oh, let me get a picture of that. Of the other ones. Here you go. It's windy. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Sorry guys. Did he these like writings are like And out of Porez is still up to bat. There you go. Gracias. The count will be three O as there are three balls, no strikes. Reese is oh at second still and that pitch will be another ball taking I don't know who this is pours to first I think I think these people need to start writing better. Yeah. Somebody needs to tell these coaches. Yeah, no hate or anything. No act no. Yeah, no oh, hate. Um to me a okay. bunch of hate. <laughs> Cuz I cannot read these names. Yeah, these names are out of pocket. And we're back on top of the lineup as number 1 bunch. I think that's what it says. Is that what it says on the paper? Um I don't know. I can't read it. Okay, well. Is it Collins? No. It was after Porez, right? Oh, it is. It is Colin. Oh. And. Colin will be out. Out? Oh, no, no. Who got yeah, out? That's yeah, that's Collins. Okay. And bases are full for the Falcons, as they have two outs. And coming up to bat will be. I think it's Davis or da Davis. Davis? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what that says. Yeah, it looks like Davis, but then it, it kind of like... We're just going to say Davis. Yeah. Coming up to bat is number five, Davis. And first pitch will be a strike, making the count 0-1. With two outs, the Falcons cannot afford another out. And... Yeah, I mean, all bases are full. And will Davis be the one to bring it? To bring it all home. Oh, Ooh, foul! Hello there. <laughs> I think he hit something. Now the count will be one, two, one ball, two strikes, and ooh, waiting for the fourth pitch. Now he's he's winding it up. What is winding it up and? It will be a ball as it was low to the low, 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 low. <laughs> I 
I like to have a concert during these. <laughs> it's just something I like to do. Count will be 2-2 two, two now. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, Ooh, that was a dime. That was crispy. And it's caught. That will be the third strike, taking us into the sixth inning. And Where hopefully we are done. Okay, you're done. And we will be back with more Jow Baseball. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star Energy Efficient LED bulb. One that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Excel has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jal, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jal, is a proud supporter of the Jal community. Behind. And... Oh, here's the walkout song. How do you feel about this walkout song? Don't I be like hating. this one. Actually? Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry. Call me a hater. I think it's uh, hype-ish. Mine's still better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and... Oh, there's a ball on the field. Okay. And... Sauceda will be batting first for the Panthers. First pitch will be a ball as it falls downwards. And we have a new pitcher, too, for the Falcons. So who is it? That is... is it, yeah, he doesn't... Oh, yeah. Uh, Fer Ferio? Ferro? Second pitch will be a strike, making the count 1-1. One, one. Fierro. I was calling him Fierro earlier. Ooh, that was close. Third pitch was a little close to Sauceda's head or face, but will be a strike. Awaiting the fourth pitch now as he's cranking it up. Oh. Dang, he gets really close to hitting them. Yeah, it gets a little scary. Um, that was actually really close. That actually yeah. got me like scared. See, that's where I would just walk out. Mhm. Mm I would just grab my stuff and like leave. And that will be the first out for the Panthers. And coming up to bat is Christopher Baxter. You don't like that song? No. Okay, you're a hater now. Now I know you're a real hater. <laughs> Baxter's will... Oh, first pitch will be a strike on Baxter. And awaiting the second pitch now. Cranking it up. Oh, and it's thrown. And he was like, he swung very far from that. So that will be a strike, making the count 0 2. No balls, two strikes. Ooh. Ooh. Third, third pitch will be a ball, making the count 1 2. That was very, very close to Baxter's yeah, face. Yeah, no, I, that's where I would quit mm -hmm. and walk out. Oh. And Baxter's will be the second out for the Panthers. Coming up to bat now is number six, Santian. And this, this one's actually a lot. And he's going to be lefty. Ooh. 
I think this is the first time we've seen him be lefty, or or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, like if he doesn't hit it, he'll probably switch. First pitch will be a ball as it goes a little bit to the side. Not quite there yet. Jao with two outs. So Santian needs. Oh. Swings and hits it a bit, but not quite out in the field. More like behind him. So second pitch will be a strike, making the count 1-1. One, one. And now awaiting the third pitch. Ooh. Third pitch will be a strike as now the count will be 1-2. Uh, Jal cannot afford another out. So, oh, and the ball is high and caught. And that, I, oh, great way to end the game, I guess. Your score is 1 to 11. Um, with Panthers, your Panthers will have 1. Visitors will have 11. Yeah, the Falcons actually uh, used a big uh, fourth inning to take a bigger lead. It was 5 nothing at that point. They made it 10 nothing after a five-run fourth. The Panthers scratched for a run there in the uh, bottom half of the inning. Could not come up with a run to extend the game here in the fifth, and they will drop this one 11 to 1 to the Loving Falcons. Uh, JV action coming up next. We will not be here, though. This uh, will be the end of our broadcast today, but the ladies back again 10 a.m., on Saturday for Jal and Eunice, the Lee County rivalry. And, uh, well, we'll hope the Panthers put it together by the time the Cardinals invade Jal. Um, want to thank you again, Valeria. want to thank you again, Natalie, for uh, being here each and every game and and uh, helping us out with these broadcasts on HobbsAmerica.com. And for me, that'll do it until next week before I see you guys. So we'll bid you good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654.